guys, I am currently traveling in Jakarta with my husband and my two-year-old son and I thought this was a really good opportunity for me to share some of my very best hotel hacks with you when you're staying in a hotel room alone or as a couple or with young kids, anybody can use these hacks. Travel with camping, oops camping soap and a bit of rope, a little piece of rope or a spool of rope like this to use as a clothesline, voila. Camping soap is all purpose and it's biodegradable. You can use it for washing dishes in your hotel sink. You can use it for doing your laundry in your hotel sink. You can use it as shampoo and soap. So you just need this one bottle of soap and it doesn't take up a lot of space in your bag. Another thing I'm doing right now is using the complimentary toothbrushes as sponges to clean my son's cups. He's got these sippy cups that have little nooks and crannies that can be hard to clean, so complimentary toothbrush plus soap camping suds uh, coming in handy for that. Travel with chip clips or binder clips or some kind of clips. You can also use hangers for this to close the light gaps in your hotel curtains so that you can sleep better. This is also a really good idea if you have babies and toddlers to help them nap better. And then if you forget to bring a chip clip or a binder clip, you can use hangers. This is the hanger from the hotel closet here. They have little clips on them as well. One of the scariest things that ever happened to us while we were traveling thankfully happened when we were traveling as a couple before my young son was born. At night while we were sleeping, somebody broke into our hotel room, went through our wallets, and stole our money. We only know that's what happened because a few minutes later he broke into the hotel room across the hallway from us, but the woman who was staying in there alone woke up and started screaming. He actually attacked her and my husband and I ran across the hallway to her, the attacker ran away, and it was only later when we were going through some of our things that we found out our money was gone. I think about this incident because now what I wanna tell you to do is that you should travel all the time with a door stopper. I'm embarrassed to say that I'm not following my own advice right now, I forgot to bring one. There was one at our hotel room last week in Singapore, so I used that one to shove under the door, but here in this hotel, there isn't one. So I'm just gonna try to show you what you would do with a door stopper. So a little rubber door stopper doesn't take up much room in your bag, and you'll just shove that under your door at night when you're sleeping, and then if anybody tries to break into your room, they won't be able to, they won't be open to, able to open the door because the door stopper will keep it shut. This is what I did last week when I was staying alone in a hotel room with my two-year-old. Not to scare anybody out there, but it gave me a lot of peace of mind. Pack painter's tape or masking tape for you. This has a million uses for parents with babies and young toddlers, especially baby proofing, but it can also be used for everybody for covering up annoying lights in your hotel room. I don't know about you, but I always find that there's like some kind of blinking annoying light when I'm trying to sleep at night and I can just cover this up with painter's tape. For parents, you might already know this, that you can use this to like wrap up the toilet and cover up outlets and things like that to baby proof your hotel room. Use the complimentary hotel shower curtain to cover up your shoes. I'm gonna be using this for my sneakers because I don't plan on wearing them for a while while I'm here. So I'm gonna use the shower cap to cover them up so they don't get everything dirty in my bag. Ask for two hotel room keys even if you're just one person staying in your room and the reason for this is that many hotels require you to use your room key to turn the power on to put it in that little slot when you walk into the room and if you plan on charging things while you're outside of the room you're gonna have your room key with you and you won't be able to charge stuff in your room so Get two cards so you can keep one in the power slot, keep charging your stuff while you're out of the room, and keep one card on you. If you're leaving your hotel room and you don't plan on having room service, make sure and put the do not disturb sign on your door. This is really helpful for safety purposes. If anyone's wandering the hallway who's not supposed to be there and they see a do not disturb sign on the door, they may assume that somebody's in the room and not try to break into it and steal your stuff. You may have seen on social media and TikTok and stuff that it's a lot easier than you think to break into hotel rooms, unfortunately. Use the safe if you have one and then carry your super secret, super important valuables with you while you're out and about. It never hurts to ask your hotel front desk for an upgrade when you're checking in. Also ask for a room with a fridge. Try to get a mini fridge, especially if you're traveling with babies. It's really helpful for milk and things like that. But if you can't get a room with a fridge, 
Bring a mini collapsible travel cooler with you and fill it up using the hotel ice and just keep your stuff cool in that. Some hotels will also keep things cold for you in like their main front desk fridge if you just ask. Be sure to check out some of my other helpful travel videos on this channel and I will see you next week as we explore Indonesia.